It's an illegal drug that's so powerful, merely touching it can kill you. It's called gray death, a deadly mix of painkillers that has Hawaii law enforcement officials concerned, even though it has not yet been found here. What makes it so dangerous, and what kind of precautions are being taken? Manolo Morales got some answers. Manolo. Joe, I sat down with a special agent with the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration who wants to warn the public about how dangerous this drug is. It's also changing the way law enforcement responds to drug arrests. It's gray in color and can come in the form of a rock, powder, or a pill. 46 overdose deaths in seven mainland states so far. In some cases, the person died just from touching a small amount of the drug, which was then absorbed through the skin. That has emergency responders across the country worried. If um, uh, EMS shows up on, on scene of an overdose event, they don't know if it's heroin, fentanyl, gray death, or U4. They don't know what they're dealing with. So it's, it's, a scary, it's scary for everybody. Gray death is usually a mix of heroin, fentanyl, carfentanil, and elephant tranquilizer, and a synthetic opioid known as U4. All of them powerful on their own, combined even a small amount can lead to an overdose and death. So law enforcers have to wear hazmat suits if the drug is suspected at the scene. We're told to wear masks, we're, we're told to wear gloves. Even if you seize a cell phone now, they say be careful if there's a powdery substance. Don't touch it with your bare hands. So there is, the policy with DEA is changing. The DEA tells me that it is already seeing an increase of heroin use here in Hawaii. So it only makes sense that other opioids, including grade death, to eventually reach our shores. Unfortunately, DEA does see it spreading to every state. Just like heroin abuse and, and prescription opioid abuse. It will become the new terrible cocktail where we'll see overdoses. We'll see some teens get it and they will overdose. We will see the al already addicted crowd that are suffering take it and our ERs will get flooded. Senator Josh Green is also an emergency room doctor on the Big Island. He wants other doctors to be aware of this drug. Treating gray death overdoses will take more than the usual application of the remedy known as Narcan. This stuff is so potent that it's already like overwhelming Narcan, where we have to give two and three doses of it to get people to come out of their uh, overdose. So I'm really worried. I'm glad that we're bringing awareness to it now. We also asked the state's Narcotics Enforcement Division to talk to us about great death. A spokeswoman declined to give us an interview and send a statement saying any illicit drug that finds its way to Hawaii is a concern and it will monitor what is happening on the mainland. Manola Morales, KHON 2 News.